What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Disappointing news coming out of LeVar Burton. Seems like a excellent man, but perhaps his thirst to get back into Hollywood, perhaps hosting the Jeopardy show, has got him uh, working to reestablish that he is one of them. Now, LeVar Burton, as far as I can tell, hasn't ruffled any feathers. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm, have, you know, I'm not missing something. But it's unfortunate that he is in essentially endorsing cancel culture. Uh, you know, start the clock in terms of, you know, when he's going to get canceled. And you know what? I'll defend him then too. I'm going to have a laugh at at his expense. But it's so frustrating. This fight bounding into comics. During an interview with The View, Star Trek actor LeVar Burton briefly touched on the topic of cancel culture, mentioning that he believes the phenomenon is has been misnamed, revealing that he prefers to call it consequence culture. This is a, a common uh, pro-cancel culture argument, and it is baloney sausage. Burton's hot take on cancel culture movement was expressed this Monday when The View co-host Meghan McCain asked a Star Wars actor about his opinion on the recent discontinuation of Dr. Seuss books and how cancel culture affects works of art and artists. McCain asked, We've talked on the show about the decision by Dr. Seuss estate to discontinue six of his books that feature outdated imagery. What do you think of that decision? Uh, Burton goes on to explain that he actually has been doing voiceover for Dr. Seuss Enterprise, uh, the Dr. Dr. Seuss Enterprises, and this experience has given him some perspective on the whole Dr. Seuss controversy. It's interesting because for I just for the Dr. Seuss Foundation did a voiceover for a video that they put together to remind us that Dr. Seuss is more than simply a company that's decided to put a couple of books on the shelf to take them uh, 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 to take them out of rotation. Burton explained. He continues, the man Theodore uh, Geisel, who is Dr. Seuss, is responsible for generations of wholesome, healthy, wonderful, imaginative, creative content for children of all ages. And I think we should put, put things in perspective. But here's where things get spicier. He admits that cancel culture is a term he calls a misnomer, defending the movement and revealing that consequence culture is the term that should be used instead. Quote, in terms of cancel culture, Burton continued, um, I think it's misnamed. That's a misnomer. Um, uh, the Star Trek actor proceeds to explain, I think we have consequence culture. And, that's, and that consequences are finally encompassing everybody in society. Yeah, that's right. Uh, just normal, everyday people who have a bad day at work. Uh, getting filmed to put on the internet um, and called terrible things. That's just normal. Um, you know, that's just people getting the consequences that they deserve. Or, you know, the men, um, the many men, men who were canceled via fake claims by female in their li females in their, li in their life. How about pro Jared, for example? How about the guy from Honest Trailers? The list goes on and on. Um, d is that, is that, consequence culture, LeVar. Um, I think that there are good signs that they are happening in the culture right now. And I think it has everything to do with a new awareness on people who were simply unaware of the real nature of life in this country for people who have been othered since this nation began. Literally what, LeVar? Literally what? LeVar Burton has since doubled down on his rather controversial statement. I said it and I stand by it. The actor expressed in response to a tweet by a user, Justice Devereaux, who shared the clip from the show. Um, it's it's extraordinarily disappointing to, to see this um, on many levels. Uh, and, and the overall response is frustrating too. But cancel culture really thrives it's always existed it's always existed um every day 
you see a new name on the sidebar of Twitter that is that is that has said something bad or has or, or uh, you know did something bad 20 years ago and now they have to pay according to Twitter right they have to pay um, and the idea that you would try to lighten cancel culture which has caused people to you know self delete um, off this planet uh, is is sad. Um, it's not it's not surprising though um the idea is that he's saying basically they get what they deserve is that is that what it is i'm not exactly sure people who have and you see you know the pro cancel culture crowds coming in people who have never faced real consequences experience them as oppression so when they're surrounded by people who agree with them that they don't even realize how silly and childish they sound screaming cancel culture which is a teen, which is teen internet lo uh, lingo uh no it isn't it's a very real thing um the, if if we just look at the um the editor, Alexi McCammond, right? Forced to retire over tweets from a billion years ago. Is that is that consequence culture, LeVar Burton? Uh, a young woman of color achieves a high position in a large company, um, has tweets from a decade ago, force her to quit her job. And this is going to follow her around everywhere she goes. Um, tweets from 2011 that were a little too spicy, or maybe she, you know, are people allowed, afforded zero path to redemption? I'm sure all of us, myself included, have things that they have said or done that they would take back. But um, at what point have we paid our price? The internet would have you believe that it is uh, never a debt to be that can be repaid. Uh, if we look at what happened with Alec Hilwaka, who uh, you know, if I bring him back up, this is a guy um, that was a Canadian video game designer who was on the receiving end of cancel culture. A predicated by, I believe, Zoe Quinn. Um, this was last year, late 2019. It was so bad that he chose to leave this planet. Is this consequence culture, LeVar Burton? Because these online, uh, these online mobs, they have this uh, ability to ruin someone's life to push them over the edge and you never really know what somebody's going through uh when uh you know they may have done something bad uh and this goes for all sides of the political spectrum obviously uh, i think lavar wants you know and by the way i don't think he's a uh, desperate for work but this is a bad take um for for uh <laughs> the um, the guy that I used to watch every day, Reading Rainbow. A lot of people know him from Star Trek, but I knew him from Reading Rainbow. Um, and I, wasn't he in... I don't want to get this wrong, but wasn't he in... Was he in Roots? Yes, Kunta Kente. Yeah, duh. Okay. So, I mean, like, the guy is super established and, and, and rich, but... Just disappointing. Never meet your heroes, apparently. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.